Well, one more time, let's talk about Social Security. As you recall, there was some confusion last year about what the agenda of the Republican Senate might be if we were in the majority. And I made it quite clear that as the likely majority leader, I had hoped at that time, Social Security and Medicare were not on our agenda, period. As you recall, this continues to come up. The President was talking about it in the State of the Union. Uh, he's taken it out uh, to various states around the Union. So let me say one more time. There is no agenda on the part of Senate Republicans to revisit Medicare or Social Security, period. I've noticed that the Speaker of the House has said the same thing. So on Social Security, it is not an issue between the parties. Greetings, friends. I have huge news to share with you this Tuesday. As inflation continues to hurt lower income households, lawmakers are finally stepping up to provide necessary financial aid. Democrats are now supporting bigger monthly benefits for all Social Security recipients. And we could see a permanent expansion to benefits very soon. My friends, please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these changes. Also, to say thank you so very much for being part of this community and for joining me here every day, I will be announcing two winners this coming Friday for the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaways, my friends, click and like several of my videos and then do comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances, friends, of winning the weekly giveaways. All across the country, rising prices at grocery stores and restaurants have altered how Americans shop and eat out. While food prices are expected to moderate a little bit this year, millions of Americans will still feel squeezed, according to the Department of Agriculture. After climbing nearly 10% last year, food prices are expected to rise another 7% in 2023. The Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis said, the cost of dairy, cereals, and baked goods continue to rise. Eggs, which were once a low-cost meal staple, jumped to a national average of $4.25 a dozen in December 2022. That it was up from $1.78 one year earlier. A new study recently reported that combined with higher transportation and housing costs, the rising cost of food is being felt disproportionately by lower income households, meaning those with $50,000 or less in annual income. And in 2021, about 6 million Americans were over the age of 65. That is more than 10% of the U.S. population. That age group was found to be living below the poverty line. And while Social Security benefits increased by 8.7% this year, their biggest inflation adjustment in many decades, it is still not adequate for many retirees. As prices continue to climb, many experts worry that older individuals who are in poor physical health or who have lower incomes are at greater risk for not having adequate food or eating less than healthy foods. Money has become a huge barrier to eating healthy for a lot of people. The financial squeeze also has a potential to isolate them socially. While many Americans have only slightly moderated their grocery shopping and eating out habits, that's thanks to significant savings or income from pensions or other retirement accounts. A number of retirees across the U.S. say the prices have altered their behavior. Some are even clipping coupons and planning menus for the week in order to buy only what is on sale and what they are sure they will need. Some say they buy less meat and treats like soda or ice cream. Friends, please let me know in the comment section below how inflation has affected your lives. Senator Bernie Sanders has already announced that he wants retirees to have more money 
and he wants it to come from higher taxes on the wealthy. Senator Bernie Sanders, alongside Senator Elizabeth Warren and Representative Val Hoyle, introduced legislation to beef up Social Security benefits and keep the program solvent through the year 2096. Social Security beneficiaries are currently facing down checks being cut as soon as the year 2035 as the program's trust fund slowly runs out. Sanders said it is their job to expand Social Security so that every senior in America can retire with the dignity that they deserve and every person with a disability can live with the security they need. Social Security solvency and newly larger checks would be offset by raising the cap on earnings tax for the program. Currently, only up to $162,000 is taxed for Social Security, while any income above that limit is free from tax. Under Bernie Sanders' proposal, that cap would be lifted, and income over $250,000 would be subject to the payroll tax. It is not the first time that Senator Sanders has taken a swing at beefing up benefits and extending solvency. The progressive from the state of Vermont introduced similar legislation over the summer. But the introduction of this legislation comes as negotiations over raising the debt limit are heating up and Social Security and Medicare have taken the big spotlight. With Republicans holding a slim majority over the House, they have expressed their intent to use raising the limit as leverage to achieve their own priorities, especially in the form of spending cuts. While the Republicans have yet to make clear what exactly they are looking at cutting in an eventual debt limit deal, some Republican lawmakers had previously looked to Medicare and Social Security as areas to cut. Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy clarified last month that cuts to both of these programs are off the table. But President Biden and Democratic lawmakers have continued to blast the GOP over their past comments on the issue. Well, my magnificent and most beautiful friends, thank you so very, very much for joining me here this Tuesday. Remember, friends, I'll be announcing two winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaways, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then do comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, my friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you, friends, and have a wonderful and very blessed Valentine's Day.